What's even more cool is that we have the GeForce RTX 4080 new specifications or expected specifications. This one is focused on memory. And as you guys know, I like big buses and I cannot lie. And you know what helps even more is a little bit of speed, a little bit of agility and low power consumption. And it looks like we might be getting that with the 4080 these specifications are looking a lot better for mining. We have 23 gigabit per second GDDR6X, which would be the fastest memory that we have ever seen. Currently on the 3090 Ti, we have 21 gigabits per second, and that this would be two gigabits per second faster, and at a 340 watt total board power, which is awesome. So NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4080 graphics card has got a new spec update from the leaker copite 7 Kimmy on Twitter. If you guys don't follow him, he pretty much does all the leaks. You should definitely follow him because you'll get all that this early reports as it goes. And it's going to be even faster GDDR6X memory. According to the leaker, most specifications for the 4080 remain the same. And the only thing that has changed is the memory spec and the power design two of the things that are most important for, of course, cryptocurrency mining as a whole. Yes, there are outliers like Caspa that are core, coin or core heavy and outliers like Ravencoin that are pretty much demanding on the entire GPU. But by and large, you know, most algorithms are memory hardened to prevent ASICs or that was the original plan. And that means that the faster the memory, the better the hash rate overall. So, the next thing that's important, of course, is the amount of power consumption because obviously you want to keep your hash rate high and your watts low. And this is looking like it's pretty, uh, it's looking like it's pretty good compared to what we are, were originally anticipating where I was thinking, man, the RTX 40 series is not looking good for mining. Now things are looking more interesting. The odd choice though, is the choice to decrease the amount of memory on the card down to 16 gigabytes. But I'd rather have them compromise the total capacity of the memory than the actual speed of the memory personally. So I, I don't necessarily see this as a downside, right? The GeForce RTX 4080 is expected to utilize a cut down 8103 300 GPU configuration with 9,728 cores or 76 SMs enabled of the total 84 units, whereas the previous configuration offered 80 SMs or 10,240 cores, while the GPU or the full GPU comes packed with 64 megabytes of L2 cache and up to 224 ROPs, the RTX 4080 might end up with 48 megabytes of L2 cache and, a lo and lower ROPs due, due to its cut down design. The card is expected to be based on the PG136-139 SKU360 PCB. As for the memory specs, the 4080 is expected to rock 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 capacities that are said to be adjusted at 23 gigabits per second speed across, and here is where the disappointment in lies, 256 bit bus. So unfortunately, the 80 series from the 3080 to the 4080, while we are getting faster memory, memory speeds, we're getting a cut down memory bus from 384 bit, but from 384 bit on the 3080 to apparently a 256 bit on the 4080. Now, this is kind of a weird choice because that does mean, and I'm sorry, 320 bit on the 3080. Let me uh, correct that but that does mean that we are going to have less uh, bandwidth overall, even with the increased memory speeds. So that's gonna provide 736 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. So that is gonna be slower, just slightly, than the 760 gigabytes a second of the RTX 3080. So about 30 gigabytes per second. So you can expect essentially a well, slightly lower hash rates on this in particular. Um, I don't know why they're deciding to go with a smaller memory bus. Obviously, because it's a 16-bit configuration, you do have a little bit of a change, uh, or 16-gigabyte configuration, you do have a little bit of a change from the 10-gigabyte capacity on the 3080, but you could go up to a 384-bit bus, which would put us, with these memory speeds, over one terabyte a second, 
And I think that would be a smarter implementation personally. To compensate for the lower bandwidth, NVIDIA could be integrating a next-gen memory compression suite to make up for the 256-bit interface. For the power, the total board power is to be rated at 340 watts, which is a 20-watt increase from the previous 320-watt spec that we got. This brings the total board power to the same ballpark as the existing 3080 graphics card. Now, it is not known whether the other RTX 40 series graphics card will also be getting the GDDR6X memory speed uh, in improvements, essentially. But we know that Micron has commenced full mass production of up to 24 gigabits per second GDDR6X memory modules. So they have to go somewhere. And we'll probably see, you know, obviously the 3090 get or the 4090 get it, the 4090 Ti get it. The question will be the 70 SKU because... At this time, you know, on the 3070, you got GDDR6, not GDDR6X. Will the 70, the 4070, get GDDR6X with faster memory speeds? That's really kind of what we're going to be keeping an eye on, I think, on this channel in particular, because that would be the most interesting one to basically have come out with faster memory and kind of throw a, throw a wrench in everything. The specs, the leak specs are constantly getting better for the 4080 and the 4090. And the question is, how much better is it going to get? How much are they holding back from us at this time? Because if you recall, we were looking at, you know, a 4090 with 600 watts and only like 840 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. This looks to be improving, right? And so hopefully they're holding back kind of a lot of that information from us and we will see much more improvement as we get closer to the actual launch. So now, as opposed to that, we're looking at a 340 watt TDP with about 736 gigabytes per second uh, of the memory speed. Hopefully we get a bigger memory bus. I kind of doubt it, primarily due to the fact that we are seeing an architectural shift in the GPU market from, of course, going with faster memory and adding in instead, as opposed to that, adding in large L2 caches to compensate. And we saw that with the RX 7 or 6000 series from AMD. It's looking like that is changing a bit. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.